In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your daytime photos to nighttime photos right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Photoshop open and you have an image imported, we're ready to begin with this effect. And to begin with, we first want to separate the building and the bridge from the background. So on the left hand side of Photoshop, we'll go over to the quick selection tool and we're just gonna draw a mask around Big Ben and this bridge. You may need to increase the size of your brush just to make sure that you're covering the entire building. So once you've completed that mask, you want to hold Command C on your keyboard to copy this and then press Command V to paste this into its own separate layer. And if we hide the background layer, you'll see there's parts of the building that we completely missed from this mask. So select the background layer Go back to the quick selection tool and paint over part of the video that you missed in the original mask. And once you've selected the mask, you want to copy this again. So hold command C, command V, paste it into its own layer and keep doing this process over and over again until you've got the buildings in the foreground in their own separate layer without the background. Now, before we carry on, we just want to merge all of these building layers together into one layer. So select all of them in the right hand side of After Effects. Make sure the original background layer is not selected. We'll right click and we'll press convert to smart object and that will link all of those layers into one layer. This will make things really easy when we come to editing the effect later on. But from now we want to go ahead and we want to erase parts of the background that might have bled into this layer. So zoom into your image, we'll go to the eraser tool, increase or decrease the hardness if you need to and then just go through your image and paint out parts of the image that do not belong there. So as you can see in my example, I'm just removing the sky from the image. Now once you've done this you want to go to your finder and you want to drag in an image of a night sky. So we'll drag that in, we'll hold command T to load up transform and we'll increase the scale of this and once you're happy with the scale of that, confirm that and pull it underneath the layer that you created. So this should be wedged between the layer that you created and the original background layer. Now from here we'll go ahead and create a brand new layer, so we'll go layer, new, layer, we'll press OK on this menu, go to the eyedropper tool and select the colour of the new night sky image, we'll go to the paint bucket tool and we'll just fill in that entire layer with that one colour. Now we'll pull that underneath the night sky layer, we'll go back to the night sky layer, we'll load up the erase tool, we'll increase the size of this and then we'll decrease the hardness of this to make this nice and soft. And then we'll just erase it over the bottom part of that night sky so that we gradually progress up to the stars. Now from here we want to go into layer one, select layer one, that's the layer that we created. We'll go down to this circle icon and then we'll go all the way up to color lookup. And inside of color lookup we'll select load 3D LUT and we'll select the night from day LUT. Now from here we'll go back down to that circle icon, we'll go to curves and we're just going to add some curve adjustments here. So we'll increase the midtones on the RGB channel. We'll pull up the midtones on the blue channel and then we'll pull down the shadows just a touch. We'll go to the green channel and pull this down just a little bit and then we'll go to the red channel and we'll decrease the red in the highlights but increase it ever so slightly in the shadows. And then we'll just add another pass of curves so we'll press that circle icon again, go up to curves and we're just going to add some contrast in the RGB. So I'm just going to pull the shadows over to the right, I'll pull the midtones over to the right to touch and that will just add some more contrast to our layer. Now from here we need to go ahead and create a brand new layer and this is going to be for the light from the light. So we'll go up into layer, new, layer, we'll press OK on this. We'll go over to the paintbrush tool on the left of Photoshop. We'll decrease the size down to around 10 pixels. And then we'll change the color of the brush from whatever color you have selected to a nice yellow orange color. And then we're just going to go through the process of drawing in on those lampshades. So if you've got any lights within your photo, then you want to go through and paint over these lights now. And then once you've completed this, once you've painted over all of the lights, you want to go ahead and change the blend mode of this layer 
from normal to color dodge. And as you'll see, we'll get this really nice, really subtle glowing effect from the paint. Now from here, we'll go to layer, new layer. We'll go back to the brush tool. We'll increase the size of this to around 500 pixels. We'll pull the hardness down and we're just gonna add some very soft yellow glow on top of our lights. Now we'll change the blend mode of this layer from normal to screen and we'll decrease the opacity and that's giving our lights a really nice subtle glow. Now I'm just gonna carry on and add lights into the building behind and the extra lights that are within the scene. We'll add the glow back to all of these. So feel free to go through your entire image and paint in any lights that might be there and add a separate layer, adding a little bit of glow to those lights. And then from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some very subtle vignetting to the bottom and the top of the image. So we'll change the color of the brush from yellow to a dark gray or black. We'll increase the size of the brush to around 1000 pixels, pull the hardness down, and we're just gonna paint over the bottom and the top half of the image. Now we'll decrease the opacity of this and that looks a lot better. It's making the main subject, that is the bridge and the building really stand out. And now from here, I'm just gonna go around the original image. So I'm gonna go back to layer one. I'm gonna load up the erase tool and I'm just gonna erase the background that I didn't remove when I first copied this into its own separate layer. And once you've erased that background, we're just gonna create one more layer. So we're gonna go layer, new layer. We'll press okay on this, change the brush size to around 1000 pixels, change the color of the brush to yellow. And then we'll just draw a line over the bridge on top of all of those different light sources. Now we'll change the blend mode from normal to a linear dodge add. We'll decrease the opacity to around 20%. And then we're just gonna add one more final pass of curves. So we're just gonna go layer, new adjustment layer. We'll go into curves and we're just gonna increase the highlights by pulling up the top right corner to the left. We'll decrease the shadows so we'll add contrast to our shadows by pulling the bottom left to the right. We'll increase the midtones. We'll go over to the blue channel and we'll add some customization here. The same for the green, the same for the red. And as soon as you've done this, you've successfully converted your daytime image to a nighttime image right inside of Adobe Photoshop. It's a long process, but it's definitely worth it because the results are amazing. So there you go. That's how you convert your daytime image to a nighttime image right inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching that video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more content from this channel. See you next time.